Hey everybody, it's Melanie and it's time for another Vlogoween DIY. Um, so this time we're going to make a Witch's Cauldron candy holder, um, which is going to be really cute if you're having a party and you can just put the candy in there and set it out around. For this project, you're going to need, uh, this is, what do they call it, an oil warmer. Um, I just really like the way this one looks, so I got this one. This one was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I also got a glass bowl for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, you're going to need two colors of paint. Make sure they will paint on glass. So I've chosen purple and black because I think those are really witchy colors. Paint brushes. Um, you might want a little tea candle. This is one of the fake ones. Um, remember these from last Halloween uh, for the finished product now they do have black ones out now and I really want the black ones but then I just feel like I'm wasting money because I already have these and they still work um, something to protect your surface a cup of water to rinse your paint brushes paper towels to dry them off um, if you would like to seal uh, the finished product you might want to get some Mod Podge that's optional, that's your choice. Also optional is wire. This is floor wire. Again, I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, I chose purple because I'm doing black and purple. Um, the reason why you might want to do this is you might want to create some handles. If you choose to go the optional route um, with the wire, you may also, well, you will need um, wire cutters of some kind. These are all, these are my jewelry wire cutters, um, but they also have the uh, brown tips on them, which you can use for twirling the handle. If you do this, you might want to use your glue gun. So again, optional, or you might want to do E6000. Now I do think that you need to have some of this because we're gonna glue our bowl on top of our oil warmer and this stuff is amazing. It holds anything. Um, so super, super strength. We are going to start off by painting the outside of our bowl purple. I'm just going to take my base paintbrush and I'm going to start painting this purple. And I'm only painting the outside because I'm going to put the candy on the inside and I want the candy to still be edible. So you can do something like candy corn. It doesn't have to be wrapped candy. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need two coats. It looks much more coated in that screen. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, it's a little bit streaky at this point. But I'm going to finish this coat let it dry and then paint a second coat and I'll meet back up with you then. I'm back and this actually took more coats than I thought so not just two but about three or four. Um, I'm hoping it's still a little bit uh, streaky looking on the inside when you hold it up to the light but I'm hoping once we put the black on that's gonna fix it. Um, so that's what's next, is we're going to start with our black paint and put it on top of the purple. Again, trying very carefully not to get it on the inside. I'm going to continue putting on the black over the purple, and then when I'm done with that, I will meet back up with you. So I'll finish mine, you finish yours, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so got my black on. You can see how cool that is. You can see the purple on the inside. Uh, the black, as I guess, didn't take as many coats. Um, so I kind of want to seal in the paint, protect it. So I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge over mine. And I'm just, again, going to do that with my paintbrush. So I'm going to just paint this on like I would the paint. Let it dry. So, if you choose to do this step, I will meet back up with you when it's dry. You can see we went 
from matte black to very shiny black once the uh, Mod Podge is applied and dries. Um, it goes on white, it dries clear. This one is luster, so uh, there are different ones you can get if you like the matte. I think they have a matte finish. They also have a glitter finish, which I think would be really cool. Um, but this is one that adds is what I used. Um, if you are doing the optional step of handles, we're going to do shape our handles next. I've already shaped one. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I also made a couple of little decorations that we're going to glue on. If you're not doing handles, you can just skip this step. So you will need, if you're doing the handles, these are six inches. So cut six inches of your floor wire. And then for the big handle, I cut about six and a half inches, so a little bit, just a little bit longer. Um, and we may have to cut that down, but it's better to have it too long than to have it too short. So I'm going to take my wire cutters and my six inches, and I'm going to make these spirals. And I'm going to do that by going to the very edge, and I'm just going to start curving this around. And then when it gets to have a loop, like this, I'm going to hold it with my, the flat part of my jewelry pliers, and I'm going to continue to circle it little bit by little bit until it matches this one. So I think I need to go a little bit more. So they kind of match. I'm not looking for this to be perfect, and then I'm going to do this side the same way. So I'm going to curl it down and around until it match, till both sides match as much as possible. So they're, again, they're not perfect. I don't know if you can see the curves. They're not perfect, but they will do. So then to get this, this shape, I just took it and bent it over my first finger. So now it looks like this. And then you can bend these curves more flat and just play with it until you get a shape that you like like I said I'm not worried about this being perfect or matching 100% you can use your pliers if you need a little extra help so be creative okay they're not like by any means perfect but they are kind of the shapes that I want them to be um, for the little loop D loops I did that the same way as the uh, twirls on the end of these these are both three inches so I did one with two little curls and then just one giant curl and I'm just gonna glue these on as decorations so when I put our handles on first then I'm going to first make sure that this is going to lay flat so you might have to do a little bit more bending to get it to lay the way you want it to Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that's going to lay flat so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my swirlies Just place it on near the top. Push it down. Be careful not to burn yourself. Remember, if you're younger, to get parents' permission, parents' help with the hot glue gun. I'm going to finish gluing mine down. And for the little swirls, I'm just going to glue them like halfway between the handles up near the top just as a decoration so as soon as I get that done I'll come back and show you what that looks like. I've got my handles glued on. 
Um, this is just hot glue. It's not super glue. I wouldn't pick it up by the handles. These are, of course, just decoration. Um, there's my little twirly twirl decoration. And now I'm going to make like the handle that you would hang it by. But again, we're going to glue it to a stand. So this is a just decoration. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge bottle because it's round. And I'm going to use it to bend my wire around so that I get a pretty little arc. Then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to curl this up on each end. So that we have some little handles, kind of. And then I'm going to just hook that onto each side and I'm going to clamp it shut a little bit and it's a little bit tight so I'm going to stretch it just a little bit and there is our handle so now my pretty curve got a little messed up so I'm going to play with it just a little bit here We have our cauldron. Okay, so I have my stand and I'm going to make sure it's all dust is dip free because we don't want to glue the dust down. And then I'm going to set it on top just to see where I need to stick the glue. Got little glue strings everywhere. So it's going to go right inside that curve and I want to make sure that my decoration is centered and that we're sitting flat. I think our oil warmer is not completely um, flat on top. Like it looks a little bit bent at an angle maybe. But of course you know, the dollar store. So this time I'm going to use my E6000. Um, if you want to glue the handles on with this, you can too. It'll be a little more secure. I'm just going to stick this all on the inside. This glue doesn't dry as fast. So we'll have some overnight drying time with this. have this problem like every time I open the E6000 like it just comes out without squeezing or prompting of any kind it just it's like hi I'm ready to to glue something now even though I might not be ready to put it on what I'm supposed to go on yet so make sure everything's straight twist it around make sure to get some glue on it make sure the top is flat you might want to hold this in place for just a minute or two um, until it decides it's going to set properly. So I'm not going to put the candy in it yet, but I will put the little candle in there and show you how super cute. I don't know if you can see the candle. How super cute is this for a party? And you guys can just come by and pick up candy whenever they want. I hope you like this tutorial. If if you made this, what colors did you use? Did you use purple as well? Um, send me a picture if you want, or send me a message. Um, you can send it to shiveringshimmy at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash shiveringshimmy. I'm also shiveringshimmy on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So you can show me your pictures there as well. Um, anything else? Nope. Just... Stay tuned for more DIYs for Vlogoween, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!